Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I found a sale on life-size cardboard cutouts, so obviously I'm getting one of myself. It's Black Friday, so look at those deals! My goodness, I can't turn this down. Of course it's cheap, but also it's priceless, because it will be an artwork sculpture of me. But not just me. Me in my selfie suit. In case you didn't see, I invented the selfie suit and the selfie suit challenge. I made this and then I wore it for eight days straight for a video. So what better way to see a life-size version of me but one that's covered in me. The funny part is I don't cut it out for them. They do it. So there's like a graphic artist on the other end of this going, what? And now to sit for several days in anticipation. It's here. It's here. I have arrived. Self-unboxing. Hello, me. My goodness. Oh, look at me. This is great. That is bigger than my head. No? No? This version of me is smarter than me. Wow. Can I selfie with you? I mean me. This deserved a better setting, so we took it to the studio. Wait, here we go. <sighs> How do I and I look? And now what do I plan to do with myself? Feet. I will be exhibiting myself at LACMA, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. There's just one little problem. I don't know if the curators at LACMA recognize that I'm art yet, so I may have to, uh, insert myself. Now, Banksy snuck one of his paintings into the Tate Gallery in 2003, and I definitely recognize him as an inspiration, and I'm aiming to take this a step further because it's not just a piece of my artwork painting, it's me, my selfie, wearing selfies, and also I'll probably reference my Instagram in like a plaque next to it. So contemporizing it, you know, current commentary. I told my buddy Maddox about this plan and trying to figure it out. And he was like, you should just get an art portfolio and carry it in that way and be an artist that's going to sketch in the gallery. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I just got to find a portfolio that's big enough to fit my personality printed onto cardboard. There we go. Hi. Is this returnable if it ends up not being what I need? Uh, yeah. All right, I've got my... <clears throat> returnable equipment, but I filled it with actual art supplies because I just saw that there is a mandatory bag check. So I'm gonna go in first and just do some recon and figure out if they're gonna look in there and if I could even sneak it in without actually risking anything. Going on a little <laughs> visit to the museum. I'm like nervous and I'm literally doing nothing wrong on this trip. This will also be a good test to see how they feel about me having a camera. Here we are. My soon-to-be new home. This gentleman just handed me a map. Great. Hmm. What's the most prestigious place for me to be? One for LA County residents. Easy peasy. I got my admission sticker. He didn't give a crap about the camera. And zero bag check. Let's go scout. Contemporary art museum? Am I contemporary? This is a video installation. Here's what I worry about. That guy. There's gonna be a lot of those, so I gotta figure out where they are and are in. These things. Are these just soundproofing or are they art? Who knows? Oh, you know if there's a plaque or not. Nope, there's no little plaquey thing to say this is art, so I guess it's not art. But this big old thing of toys is art because check it out. Plaque. Art. And this is a super important reason why I'm here right now because I gotta inspect this for size, coloring, shape, typeface because I need to copy this exactly. Yeah. And that guy doesn't care. Good. Oh yeah, I should get an accurate measurement. Well, close to accurate. Kind of like in this corner. Now we got this bench issue that's gonna get in the way of me looking like art. Or I could just make a plaque for the bench too and say this is a place to sit and admire Ali Spagnola and his cardboard. Oh, wait, I found the gallery store. Maybe I should just put myself in there because I am totally a product. Ooh, or maybe I need to be in with these life-size body classical sculptures from Rome. Huh? I feel like my cardboard cutout would fit in perfectly. Right there, no one would be able to tell the difference. Ah, crap. The next time I do this, it's gonna be a nude cardboard cutout. Oh man. Okay, I really wanted to go right there because it's so open and there's all this stuff around and like across from it is this Jesus looking thing. Except, dang it, once again. Uh, okay. okay, come on. How do we know someone else didn't just sneak that in? Wait, or do I fit in here? Am I a surreal artwork? Let's see how it looks. Are these people on display artwork? I don't know, I gotta find their plaque. All right, I'm looking at the third floor just in case there's some place more perfect, but I'm really feeling that room with the uh, contemporary Jesus. Sorry, or maybe it was just a plus sign. That's my interpretation of what it was. And I can't wait for people to interpret what I am on cardboard, covered in a suit of myself. That guard just asked me if I worked here. <laughs> Probably because it, oh, sorry. Jeez, that's surprising. I've been filming flamboyantly for like an hour. That's good to know, I'm glad that I scouted. I'm going to have to be extra careful when I come in for the 
actual deed. Now all the guards that saw me today are gonna recognize me when they see me standing perfectly still as our work invading their space. But it's not an invasion because I'm artwork. I belong here. You belong here too. Everyone belongs here. I just happen to be the person that's inserting myself. Okay, enough recon work. I gotta go home and make my plaque and then come back with that in the final masterpiece and execute. A little graphic design now. Their numbers do this little weird superscript thing, but you know, Helvetica's close enough. Hey buddy, how you doing? I don't own a printer, so I need your mom to hook me up. Can we get her to, can I buy your printer? <laughs> I'm making some magic in a museum. The first design felt a little off, so I had to adjust the margin. Well, that's way better! And now I gotta glue this to cardstock and then slice it out. I weirdly don't own any glue, so it's back to the art store. I'm getting extra strong because I just realized I can use this for a future project. I need it to hold fur onto the outside of my car. Stay tuned for that. I have this gift box that I was gonna cut up that seemed like a good thickness, but now that I'm here, I'm thinking maybe I'll get some of this illustration board because look, yeah, that's like exactly it. Craft time! And it turns out I don't have a ruler either, so that's why the saw was in that last shot. I bought this as a prop and then misplaced the receipt to return it, so I still own this. And now this is gonna be my straight edge to cut it perfectly. The edge looks so good. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, and there's what I did to my table. Great. Although well, I was already covered in acrylic paint and nicks. It's fine. The day of the incident, uh, <laughs> executing the mission. Uh, the day I get my artwork displayed in a museum. You'll see I've donned my disguise all black and glasses so as not to call attention to myself and look like a stereotype of an artist so it makes sense that I'd be carrying a portfolio. I realize I'm gonna have to unfold this really quickly so just gonna do a little rehearsal on getting it out. Getting the plaque up quickly is also super important, so I'm preparing it beforehand with sticky tack that is in no way harmful to museum walls. I'm not trying to be a vandal here, just a uh, premeditated artist. Ready to roll. And also, I realize now it's too late, but I'm a little bummed that I didn't think to put, um, okay, so sometimes at the bottom of these they'll put like where the artwork came from, if it was donated or whatever, and I should have had on here courtesy of the artist. And courtesy of my buddy Maddox, who has so graciously offered to help out at my opening today. How we doing? Pretty good. <laughs> I already told him your name, I'm sorry. Did okay, cool. You do not want to be associated. No, I'm super associated. <laughs> He's aiding and abetting. All right, should we go in? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, should we go in separate? <laughs> I don't know. No, uh, I think it's fine. Okay. We're good, because I'm undercover, obviously. I think it's funny that I dressed as an artist, like pretending to be an artist, but also the point of this is that I'm pretending. No, I am an artist, right? You're an artist, yeah. Okay, good. So are you. Thanks. You See, know who else entering? is an artist? The guy who put that boulder there. Oh yeah, see, look, how is that any better than a cardboard <laughs> cutout of me? I think they're equal. So Maddox, yeah. tell them what you do. You have to oh, go check yeah. out his stuff. Yeah, so I'm an author, YouTuber, podcaster. Legend huh. on the internet. He's way smarter than me. I didn't even think about cameras. We got that one. That one over there. Yeah, I knew I brought you for a reason. I found my number one spot and it's like completely covered by a guard. Not gonna happen. Oh, look at that. Excuse me, there's a free tour at 3 p.m., but is there another one? Because it's past 3 p.m., I'm not sure. Okay, okay, I'm bored. There's a younger security guard who seems really on the ball. I just want someone who doesn't like their job. So sometimes they um, look at your portfolio back, not because of what you're bringing in, but because of what you might be taking out. Oh my god, I didn't think of that at all. Walking in here, well, clearly so suspicious. Now I'm like really nervous. Maddox was just like, all these security cameras are seeing our faces, they're gonna match us up. I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's me wearing myself. My name is on the plaque. I'm gonna look up my Instagram. There's Gio Cometti. That may be the spot. There's a lovely bench here to just hang out. Maddox is doing a lap to see about cards. Time to get out of my disguise. Okay. I'm gonna unfold this and get the black ready.
blew it. We had a Boy Scout on us, and those are the worst types of security guards because they take their job seriously. It was just bad luck that he passed right when I had it out, and then, it was, then he was like not moving, and I looked so like, what? What is she doing there? So suspicious. In an elevator with a guard, and I was like trying to hide my face just so I couldn't be identified, and then I realized, oh wait. And now we are doing exactly what I did not want to do. Walking through Lacma, I look like this. But we are looking for another location. Stealth, we're doing this now. Very public space, lots of foot traffic, so I can get a lot of eyes on my art. I think this is great. Yeah, I think we got it. I feel good about this. <laughs> Famous last words. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is hilarious. <laughs> dropped everything and changed in my car. And now I guess I'm gonna head back. I don't I know. I was just texting with Maddox, being like, what's happening? And he's like, yeah, 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 come back. Why not return to the scene of the art? Checking thoughts about walking back. Uh, there's security, we got security. They're, they might be removing it. They're taking it down now. Uh, he saw you recording He saw me recording, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're moving it? Oh, no, there, there I go. Well, someone doesn't think I'm art, but that doesn't mean I'm not art. Is he taking it in for evidence? Well, obviously they're gonna find me, but... <laughs> I love that a security guard's gonna have to look up yeah. my Instagram as intel. Obviously, he's going to set it up in a more prestigious spot. Yeah, they need to uh, move some of the Picassos around. So I saw these two people walk in and look at your artwork, and I followed in to start recording them, and I noticed the guy on the right is an actual museum goer, but the guy on the left turned out to be a security guard. <laughs> and watch, he comes over, he takes a picture of your plaque, and then he walks over, and then he come, he notices I'm recording him, so he comes over and asks me if that was mine. And I'm like, uh, no, which is the truth. And he saw my ca my phone on camera mode, and I was trying to make it look like I was texting, but I wasn't clearly, because he saw me recording him. Uh, then he ra radioed in another security guard, and they got there fast. Another guy came, like, within seconds. I'm like, all right, I'm getting out of here. We're back at Maddox's place. I'm scared to go home, because, you know, they know who I am through my Instagram now. They're gonna come get me, so I guess I, uh... Witness protection program? That's not right. <laughs> I just gotta skip town. I'm going to Mexico. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for your help. This you was, got it. I could not have done it without you. <laughs> Holy crap. You nailed it. Uh, go check out Maddox. He's, this is his stuff. He's awesome. Where well, I'll link to whatever you want. <laughs> hey, thanks. Yeah, check that shit. It's art, obviously. Yeah. Everything is art. Everything's art. Oh my god, I bet the... They're gonna see this, right? They're gonna watch. Oh, what's up to that guard? Hi, thanks oh. for taking a picture. <laughs> yeah, hey man. Uh, I wasn't lying. It wasn't mine. All right. All right.